Hello traders and welcome to another video analyzing gold and the USD and some economic indicators. It's uh, Sunday, September 10th, uh, around 4 p.m. on the East Coast. As we delve into the world of gold, buckle up for another exciting ride. My last week uh, analysis was uh, was very good actually. Uh, the gold stayed under 1950 and 1915, which was very good for swing trading uh, between these two levels. Notes from past week. On Wednesday, we had the ISM services PMI, which unexpectedly jumped to 54.5 in August 2023, pointing to the strongest growth in the services sector in six months compared to 52.7 in July and forecast was at 52.5. ISM stands for the Institute for Supply Management and the ISM Services PMI, which is the Purchasing Managers Index. A reading above 50 indicates expansion in the service sectors and a reading below 50 indicates contraction in the services sector. From the fundamental analysis regarding the 20th of September uh, FOMC meeting, the likelihood of no change in interest rates has fallen to 92% compared to 94% in the previous week. Meanwhile, the probability of a rate hike in November now stands at 43.6%. And again, it's worth noting that Chairman Powell hinted at the possibility of the Fed keeping a rate steady during the next meeting in September. This is the updated probability. It's from cmegroup.com and you could search for Fed Watch tools. You see the 92% of no change and in November 53.1 no change uh, and 43.6.25% change. Looking at the USD, it's been moving within an upward trend channel since its low point of 19 of 99.6 on July 16th, eventually reaching a peak of 105.16 on September 7th and the week concluded with a closing rate of 105.06 accompanied by the appearance of a commonly recognized hammer pattern. Although the candlestick body is red indicating some selling pressure, the overall sentiment remains bullish. However, it's worth noting that the bearish sentiment persists, suggesting that the market bears have not yet relinquished control and analyzing the technical aspects it evident that the USD remains in an overbought condition when observing the daily charts indicating a potential correction might be on the horizon the relative strength index stochastic ind oscillator stochastic momentum index and true strength index are all indicating a significantly overbought condition on the daily chart. However, it's worth noting that the SMI oscillator is showing a slight loss of momentum, albeit a small one. Here you can see the RSI, the SMI, stochastic, TSI, and the SMIO. Continuing our analysis, of the USD and focusing on the moving averages, the USD has maintained a comfortable position above its three widely used moving averages, the 20 days, 50 days, and 100 days, since it crossed above them on August 9th. The initial support level provided by the 20 days moving average currently stands at 103.88, Additionally, when examining the MACD indicator, it's evident that it remains significantly above the zero line. 
And despite the last two histograms showing, showing almost identical value, there is still little sign of notable loss in momentum at this point. In summary, the USD analysis reveals several key points. Multiple indicators are indicating that the USD is in highly overbought condition. The presence of a hammer pattern suggests that bullish sentiment remains strong. Furthermore, the USD has been demonstrating robust price action well above its moving averages, and momentum appears to be holding firm. These factors collectively suggest that the USD may have further upward potential, but it's important to note that a retracement near the 104 mark could be on the horizon. It's worth mentioning that the upcoming CPI release next Wednesday has the potential to significantly impact the situation and could lead to a reversal of the current trends or add more strength to the USD and potentially test the multi-month high at 109. Now, turning our attention to gold, in last week's report, I highlighted the formation of a shooting star pattern that occurred with the Friday, September 1st closing price. And as expected, gold experienced downward pressure throughout the entire week and struggled to surpass its 50 days moving average, situated around the 1930 level. To compound the bearish sentiment, the week concluded with yet another shooting star pattern underscoring the strength of the bearish momentum. From a technical perspective, undoubt undoubtedly the recent resurgence in the strength of the USD presents a significant hurdle for gold's upward trajectory. A closer look at the weekly chart reveals that gold has faced ongoing difficulties in maintaining its position above the 20-week moving average since it was breached on June 19th. Although it managed to close in positive territory last week, this week's this week tells a different story with the red close marking a decline of approximately minus 1.25%. On the weekly chart, there is a glimmer hope for the bulls as indicated by the MACD, while there is evidence of declining momentum in the histogram. It's noteworthy that both the MACD line and the signal line continue to maintain positions above the zero line, suggesting that there may still be some bullish potential in the market in the weeks ahead. Taking a closer look at the daily chart, gold has been trapped within a range bounded by its 100 days moving average and its 50 day moving average since August 28 eagerly awaiting a catalyst to determine its short-term trajectory. The persistent inability to surpass the resistance posed by the 100-day moving average indicates significant selling pressure within this range. Conversely, the failure to breach the 20-day moving average hints at the presence of buying interest at these levels. These two robust boundaries demand close attention as a breakout in either direction could lay the foundation for more substan substantial price movement. On the daily chart, the MACD sends a clear signal that the bulls are losing momentum, evident in the declining histogram, which represents the difference between its 12 and 26 simple moving averages, when coupled with uh, sorry, the difference between is 12 and 26 exponential moving average. This is a typo. When coupled with the overbought conditions currently facing the USD, this gives mixed signals, but there is a possibility of a pot potential decline in gold. And breaking the 1915 would potentially lead to the 1900 psychological mark. Looking at supports and resistances, this is the Bollinger Bands. Our first resistance is at 1929.75, the September 9th high, followed by 1932.3, the 50 days moving average, 1939.05, September 5th high, 
and the 1949.5, the 20 weeks moving average, 1950.9, the 100 days moving average, 1951 Bollinger Band upper band. If we manage to break above 1951, I see a potential test for 1972.44, the July 31st high, then the 1981, the channel upper line, and finally 1982.2, July 27th. On the downside, we have the 1918.7, the 20 days moving average, followed by the 1915.8, the 20 days moving average, and then if this is broken, I believe that gold will go all the way down, God knows to where. The first support would be 1910.9, August 11th low, then 1903.85, August 25th low, 1902.7, July 6th low, 1900, psychological level, 1893, June 29th low, 1884.9, August 21st low, and then 1880, Bollinger Band, lower band, and finally 1872, the 50 weeks moving average, and 1850, the 100 days, 100 weeks moving average. Looking at the economic calendar for next week, the upcoming week is crucial in terms of news events. The action kicks off on Wednesday with the release of the U.S. Consumer Price Index, figures at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and this will be closely followed by the European Central Bank interest rate decision on Thursday at 8.15 Eastern Time. Additionally, from the U.S., flurry of significant economic data is scheduled for release on Thursday, including the producer price index retail sales and the initial jobless claims, all at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time. These events have the potential to greatly influence market dynamics and should be carefully monitored by investors and traders alike. I have added few charts here just to get a feel about the trends for the above mentioned economic indicators which are due this week. First one, the United States score inflation rate month over month. You can see that in the last two months, <coughs> There was a big drop, June and July. The United States core inflation, again, we have a drop. All this could potentially help gold. It's negative for the USD because it gives a signal that uh, the FOMC uh, could end the rate hike journey that they started uh, 13 months ago. The United States producer price inflation, uh, its last rating was at 0.3. The United States producer price, this is the core. The last rating was at 0.3, this is months over months. Finally, the United States retail sales. Last month, there was a huge surprise when, it, when the reading came at 0.7%. This could support the US. So we will see what this week will bring when it comes to news. That's it for now. Good luck everyone and have a wonderful week.